Hey collectors, Anthony from Hashesnet here, and today we're going to check out Transformers Studio Series The Movie 1986 Rumble Blue. Rumble is red, except when it comes to the 1980s animated series. Nonetheless, Rumble usually only obeys Soundwave and will fight for him to the best of his abilities. When he converts his arms, he reveals two pile drivers that will shake any bot onto their posteriors. During a crossover comic, Rumble once traveled back in time and awoke the Decepticons before the Autobots on the Ark, allowing them to conquer the Earth. And in front of you, Transformers Studio Series 1986 Transformers the Movie Decepticon Rumble Blue. Boy, that's a long name. Anyway, he's a core class figure. And before we take a good look at him, we all take a look at his packaging. And it is the core class box. Here's a little picture of his face. Here's a picture of him in his two modes. Uh, and here is more stuff. Inside of this is a little box. This little diorama of the antenna on the communications turret, Autobot City, in which they were attacking for him to use those um, tire drivers. According to course, here is the instructions and the don't hurt yourself paper. Don't hurt yourself. So uh, the pile drivers just go onto his folded hands and uh, that's it, nothing too fancy there. Um, you can unfold his hands. And, uh, as you see, they're super tiny and they don't really have any like type of hole articulation or whatever uh, but you can take the the gun things that he has on his back rocket launchers I don't know attach them to his arms there's little peg holes on the side I think these are three millimeter I don't know but he can do like that or something and um, here's just a close-up of him and uh, he's pretty nifty a ball jointed everything So yeah, it's 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 kind of groovy. Okay, so we'll take these off. And your big question is, does he fit in Soundwave? Well, to your left, you see Red Rumble from Warfare Soundwave, and you see the Siege Soundwave. And uh, so we're going to transform this guy. Uh, head goes backwards, goes into here. Uh, these feet fold up, and. Uh, <laughs> So I try to remember how to do this. Arms go up. There we go. And then the legs fold in on the side. Do the right thing. And I think it... Oh, yeah, there we go. It... it oh, did I, did I... Okay, there we go. Yeah, okay. So you have to have the knees at the exact point. Uh, right point. To... There we go. And... Click the look. See it there. Okay. So here's what he looks like in close up. And for comparison, we'll put him together. Uh, you can turn his head if you want to, but frankly, he's just looking behind him otherwise. Uh, but this guy's arms just go up like this. These point downwards. And then you can see why I was confused by the feet, because the feet do this. Like, that's what I was thinking. Um, and he looks like this. So, pop a chest open put him in he fits right in there uh, now he's just kind of a tight fit but he, he's in there so we'll take him out and now him and uh, if he's not compact enough he's not gonna fit so just make sure he is tight and compact and voila he fits so isn't that nifty right and then, of course, he can eject himself. Ah, okay. Uh, I know. It, it's like, it's a tape. I get it. Not a lot to talk about. But uh, let's do some comparisons real quick. Uh, as you can see, it is pretty much the, the same mold, more or less. Just did a little bit different of the detailing. Added some hands. So... Yeah, because uh, you can tell this one's chest is wider. His legs are a little chunkier. Got made his head move out of the way, but um, on this one though he has a little peg because the gimmick was he can also be used as a shield. 
Yay! Shoot me in my tape! Do it! I dare you! Shoot me in my tape! <laughs> because every weaponizer, gimmicky, battle master, whatever, it had like function, multiple functions. So he's a tape, he's a bot, he's a shield. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, my hope is that they will release a frenzy in red. You know, kind of just, you know, catch them on both ends. Because if you got the, I want to say the Netflix sound wave, you got the modern take on Ravage and Laserbeak. So all you need is these two guys, and, you know, as I said, Frenzy and Red. And you have the whole set. After I thought I was pretty much done recording this review, I had gone off and ordered Aimless from Amazon. Now, Aimless is a gun that is also a battle master, and I figured, you know what, it'd be a good idea if we compared him to Rumble Blue, a cassette who is also a battle master. So before we wrap this up, I figured we would try and see what a battle master compares to um, the tape deck, which, I mean, technically is also a battle master, I guess. And in this case, uh, I picked up Aimless for giggles. And as you see, he's a gun with the two blast effects, so nothing too fancy. And after I get him in the, out of the package, we're going to take a look at him and compare him to Rumble. Now, for those of you who are asking, uh, yes, Aimless is the Battle Master to Misfire, the Decepticon Headmaster, uh, or Target Master. Either way, depends on the toy line, I guess. Um, he's pretty much the straightforward, uh, well, I guess five bits of articulation. If you can't, this is a bit of articulation. So nothing too fancy. He, of course, uh, <laughs> gun goes over his head and then you uh, combine his legs and then these two heels go into the points here on the gun and then you attach this. Now you're like, hey, are you reviewing Aimless? No, because Aimless is just like the other ones uh, that are like this. There is like, you review them one, you review them all. And uh, so no, I'm not reviewing it. But uh, and then it came with two blast effects and uh, here they go. I thought this would get rid of that as a review. Uh, also, instructions came in here. Like, you really needed instructions for this. So, I mean, we can already see some comparisons in their modes. I mean, can you guess who's going to be taller? Like, let's take his pylons off. And we'll stand up rumble. And then we'll just untransform him again. Take his blast effects off. Look at the size difference. Like this is head. Maybe back to back. And we already checked him against his other form, and so generally about the same size. So the cassettes are a little bit bigger than the Battle Masters. And uh and I see here a lot of kibble on the back. And uh, that's pretty much the comparison to other battle masters. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on this item. Did you get it? And how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.